Hi, we're very excited to be here at Brands Hatch for round one of Thundersport GB. Today we'll be watching the young riders riding their way through the championship. Welcome to GP Racing Dream. Race one for the RST Aprilia Challenge, the 450 GPs, the first race on the grid. Just in case you're wondering about the lovely young ladies with us here for this season, that's Kirsty and Sarah. Thanks to them, we'll be seeing them all over the country this year. There's Will Keynes, we just saw, number seven. Will Hodgson, a regular. And there is Keelan Irwin, number 69. And number 54 also, I just got a quick glimpse of. It was Sam Cox, just in the background, in fact. Uh, further there up the front, number 94, Ross Simpson, who's uh, kindly decided in the winter that he would change his race number just for extra confusion. In the background there, you can see a few other uh, machines. The super teens are also out, but we'll bring you highlights of how they got on a little bit later on. We're going to focus for now on the Aprilia RRV 450s. Down into Paddock Hill and up towards Druid. Will Kane's there with a lovely bright orange and black helmet. Looks like he might just have the advantage going into Druid. It's a tight line there from Sam Cox, though, and he looked like he's uh, on song. Of course, Sam Cox came back into this class, number 54, the uh, middle part of last year and was so so close to getting uh, that race victory didn't quite happen for him you see there just a bit further back that is one of uh, our new super team bikes that's an Aprilia RRV 450R which is basically uh, half the power as a normal 450 we'll get into that a little bit later on for now we will focus though on the 450s themselves there's Keelan Irwin rider from uh, Donegal on the Scott Racing Motorcycles Aprilia, green helmet, quite easy to spot. And there is your race leader, number seven, Will Keynes from Shirley on the Fire System Services Aprilia. On board now with Will Hodgson, uh, sponsored by Ron Hodgson Cars, which is effectively his dad. And going up the inside of him there is Danny Boo, uh, number 64. Up towards Druids we go. You can see that Patches here at Brand Hatch, and that's a lovely move there from Danny Booth. Two in one for him in two corners. So he's absolutely flying through the pack. Danny Booth, uh, another race winner from last year. Then Keelan Irwin, who definitely has come on quite a lot uh, compared to this time last year. Just joining the pack there, you can see the JDF uh, colours on the side of that Aprilia RRV 450. That is number 94, Ross Simpson a former super teen, although when you see him standing up, you'd, uh, you'd be hard to believe that, that because he is absolutely ginormous. Uh, he has had his feet in growing sacks over the winter. He's absolutely enormous, so tall, uh, but still quite nimble, and it's easy to get tucked in on these Aprilia RRV 450s. Of course, still brought to you by In Competition, Ian and Myron Newton and Jimmy, etc., who all uh, help out. There's a, a lot more than that as well. 450s always usually provide us with some decent action. Hard to put your finger on who really was the favourite coming into this season. Of course, last year's Aprilia RRV 450 champion Sam Wilford has moved on. So there is an opening here. Will Hodgson was always uh, present and has been for a number of years now. Sam Cox has got to be up there, but Will Keynes leads at the moment and looks like he's going to be a threat throughout most of the season. 58 there, just uh, popped up behind number six. 58 is Tristan Finocchiaro. Number six is Casey Wyatt from Beckenham on the Team Edge Racing, RST Racing. Now, if that is the Casey Wyatt, who I think it is, uh, that is Casey who raced in the Aprilia Super Team way back in the very first year uh, in 2008. I'll have to double check on that with you. Here we go then, down into turn one. That's a lovely overtaking manoeuvre. Slightly off camber at points as you tip down into Paddock Hill Bend, so you have to get it dead right. And despite it being damp, he's got the move made, but he did drift a little wide, and that's just opened the door up there. And Keelan Owen is back through on him. There is Keelan just up ahead, um, and now down into Graham Hill Bend. Graham Hill Bend, such a, an awkward corner to uh, to make an overtaking manoeuvre on. You have to be pretty much dead level with someone before getting on the brakes in order to pull the move off. If you do anything too late, it could be curtsy to be a race. 
Here we are on board with Will Hodgson now, just going up around clearways. Brilliant view this of what clearways is actually like. The undulations up and down on the power then onto the start finish straight here for Will, who's been in this club for some time. And now that is Ross Simpson, number 94. Now, is he aware of what's going on there? A lot of smoke pouring out of his JDF Aprilia 450. And no, he wasn't aware as he tips into 30s. He goes down and he goes down heavy as well. And that gives you an idea as just to how quick you can be going down there. Luckily, he's up and he's walking away and he's probably saying some uh, some things that we wouldn't be able to wear uh, underneath that uh, visor but at least he's up and he's walking away we just saw Danny Booth there going through there's Keelan Irwin number 69 and then Will Hodgson Will Keynes it is that still has the advantage though so that was Sam Cox just going through your picture and uh, number nine is Alex Taylor from Southwater another of the Scott Racing Motorcycles riders for 2016 all around Druids we go there's Will Keynes he's just going through some traffic at the moment number seven uh, he has this advantage while we're talking about potential favourites for the championship we should just quickly point out and send our best uh, regards over to Zach Cordroy of course uh, numerous times a race winner last season he was here yesterday racing but uh, broke both of his wrists uh, and he's out and I would imagine we'll be out for a little bit of time so we're sending you our best wishes Zach a speedy recovery and hopefully we'll have you back on the podium here in the 450s uh, very very soon we just were on board there with Will Hodgson trying to chase down Keelan Irwin once more this is your race leader number seven then Will Keynes from Shirley on the fire system services Aprilia up and down season for Will last year. He's always been there or thereabouts, but he's not quite had a break. He's been injured a few times himself last year, hobbling around on crutches on a, more than a few occasions. So he'd like to put a full season together, I'm sure. Up through Surtees we go, and look at all of this traffic here for Will Hodgson, who's just pretty much barging his way through one or two of the super team riders here. It's like, get out of my way. Uh, and trying to make up as much ground as possible at the moment, Will, is struggling if he wants to make it onto the podium. It is Will Keynes that has this lead, and it's, I suppose, in 450 terms, quite handsome. Uh, just over two seconds now, back to Danny Booth. In terms of their lap times, it is a bit damp. They're lapping in the 52s at the moment. Lap record is a 50.3, set by James Folkard. There's Will Hodgson still trying to find his way through one or two bits of uh, traffic as he just goes past Lawrence Edgerly there. Uh, this is Danny Booth, just at the bottom of your screen, going through 30s. Then Keelan Irwin, looking like being a good start to the season for Keelan. Uh, he could be on for a podium here to start off the season. Now we're on with uh, Will Hodgson, then he's trying to chase this group down. Uh, the problem for Will at the moment is that he's got some company as well that's closing up on him. Sam Cox is not a million miles away. As we go past the last lap flag there, just got a quick glimpse of it on the right-hand side of the screen. There you can see Sam Cox, number 54, closing in on Will Hodgson. On that last lap, they were around about half a second between them. There's Will Kane's your race leader. It looks like it's gonna be a good start for him, provided he doesn't run into any trouble. And then, this is the battle for third. It's come down, Keelan Irwin, Will Hodgson, and Sam Cox. Sam Cox there with the white, blue, and orange leathers. On board now with Will, as we exit through, it's head down towards Graham Hill Bend. This is the battle for the final place on the podium. Keelan Irwin at the moment, don't look around, mate. You've got some serious company. Although, that wasn't the greatest of exits there from Will Hodgson as we enter 30 there, and that shows the exit wasn't great, and he has not only lost out on chances of third, it doesn't look like he'll even get fourth. Will Keynes takes 25 points. A great win for him, a great start to the 2016 campaign, and it looks like being second for Danny Booth. He's going to get third, though. Oh, it's close. Third place goes to Keelan Irwin. Fourth to Sam Cox, and it's in the end fifth for Will Hodgson, but great racing there for the final podium places. In sixth place was Alex Taylor, number nine. Will, that's a good start to the season, isn't it? I mean, on TV day, to get your first win in the first race. Yeah, I'm just so happy to finally do it. It's been, obviously, last year I had a few bad uh, rounds at Anglesey when I broke my leg, but now I finally feel like I'm back to full fitness and ready to start winning races, so yeah, really good. Yeah, I mean, that's really funny. When you get another year come round, it's a whole new outlook, isn't it? But you look well on it. Who have you got to thank? Uh, thank you. Uh, I like to thank uh, Luke for doing my helmet. She sprays my lids. Uh, massive thank you to my dad, uh, family, friends for coming down, Scott Levers, 
uh, families, friends. I uh, also like to say a get well to, uh, soon to Zach. He's been in the hospital at the moment. He broke both his wrists, so get well soon, mate. Yes, get well soon, Zach. Join us again after the break. In this week's Product Spotlight, we're looking at the number one racing leather company in the UK that's recently made its way to the US. Since 1988, RST Leathers have been worn in the BSB series by some of the top riders in the world. RST's reputation is based on quality and value. You're going to be hard pressed to find this type of well-constructed, thick, durable suit that looks as good at this price point. This is a full race cut, triple stitch, 1.1 and 1.3 millimeter Brazilian cowhide. RST features a double leather seat, full length Kevlar stretch panels and neoprene comfort lining on the neck and cuffs. When we look at the layers of protection that separate you from the asphalt, we get CE approved armor in the shoulders, elbows and knees along with carbon fiber shoulder and knee protective sliders. In addition to the black and white you see here, the suit is also available in white and gray, fluorescent red and blue. After a day of testing, I can tell you the suit feels tight in the right places and has room where you want it. RST also makes gloves and boots to go with their suits, and when you put it all together, it makes for a serious look with serious protection. Welcome back to Brands Hatch. Uh, hopefully there's not going to be too much of a reason to use those uh, umbrellas, but uh, still a bit grey here and a, a wet surface, you could uh, argue. Will Hodgson there looking to go better than he did in race one earlier. He finished in fifth place. There is uh, Ross Simpson, who unfortunately went out of the first race. He's got number 55 on his helmet, but number 94 on his bike. I, I can't quite work that out. There's the race winner from earlier, Will Keynes, number seven. Uh, try not to focus on the super teams in the background for now. We'll have highlights of how they get on uh, after the break from this one. For now, we'll concentrate on the 450s. A good start there, it looked like, from number 69, Keelan Irwin. And it is indeed as he comes through to try and take second place. Is he being sat up there by Will Hodgson, though? But Will Keynes, it will be, that gets the advantage into Druid. Number seven, the race one winner, takes the lead ahead of Will Hodgson. We're on board with him now in second place, just behind Will. There's a number of riders there just up the touch behind him, one of them being Ross Simpson, number 94, into Graham Hill Bend. Look at the speed that Will Keynes took around uh, Graham Hill Bend then. is already looking to check out here as we get up towards Surtees. There in third place is Danny Booth, number 69 in fourth is Keelan Irwin, and then in fifth it was 54, Sam Cox. Number six there, just up behind 58, uh, that's Casey Wyatt behind Tristan Pinocchiaro. And now on to the start, finish straight we go. And what a flying first lap that was from Will Keynes, number seven, who has the lead then ahead of Will Hodgson and Danny Boo, number 64. All of these guys had race wins in the past. Keelan Irwin's just up there in fourth place for now, but Will Keynes is looking as good here than I think I've ever seen him in his short career so far. Certainly towards the end of his super team days, he was uh, showing signs of uh, making serious improvement. Then moved on to the 450s, and like he said in his interview earlier on, didn't quite go his way last season. On board with Will Hodgson here, we might just see a front wheel in a minute. We've seen a whole bike, in fact. That is Danny Boo. It looked like he was going to be pulling that one off as they made their way into Surtees. So, so far this weekend, Will Hodgson, who traditionally doesn't mind a scrap out on circuit, has been beaten up a bit here. They just go over a bit of cement dust from some oil that's been left on circuit, perhaps from an earlier race. Will Hodgson bounces back, though, up the inside as they make their way into Paddock Hill Bend. And this is great news uh, for Keelan Irwin there in fourth place. He's quite happy to sit with the front row seats and watch that one unfold. Ooh, really hot into Truitt there from Will Keynes, the race leader. Further back there is Ross Simpson trying to catch up with uh, Sam Cox, who's uh, up inside the top five. 
Will Keynes was carrying some serious speed into Druids and carrying serious speed out of Graham Hill. Ben there, a major moment for Keelan Irwin, number 69. Further up ahead here, these two are taking lumps out of each other. Will Hodgson, number 14, and Danny Boo, they're losing so much time on race leader Will Keynes just by doing this. And uh, luckily for Keelan Irwin, who was just out of the seat a minute ago, that's helped him out a bit. But now he's got company because is that Sam Cox who's coming up alongside him? We'll see in a moment. On board with Will Hodgson again as he gets planted by Danny Booth once more. They're landing blows here and Will Keynes is more than happy with that. It is Sam Cox there, 54, who's closed up onto the tail of Keelan Irwin. Orange, white and blue leathers there for Sam Cox. Good to see him having a good start to the season. Further back, we've got Ross Simpson, Casey Wyatt, Matt Rangely, uh, who's on the podium a fair few times last year. Connor Wheeler and uh, Tristan Fanocchiaro. At the moment, that's your top ten. Here we see, then, Will Kane. Such a relaxed riding style. Looks a different character at the start of 2016. Then Danny Boo, Will Hodgson and Keelan Irwin there. Has, uh, has to sit up, he's having quite an eventful race there as Sam Cox goes underneath him around clearways. Look at that lead for Will Keynes as they head into turn one. Danny Booth has definitely broken away from Will since getting past him and might just be able to close that gap down. I'm looking at the lap times here and Will Keynes, despite the fact that it's still a little bit greasy out on circuit, in track damage is certainly not high, they're only... Well, actually, no, they're, out. they're a bit off that lap record of James Folkard. That was a blistering lap record set by Folkard. Either way, Will Keynes at the moment is still lapping a good two or three tenths a lap quicker than Danny Booth in second place. On board here with Will Hodgson. They're just coming up on some traffic there. And Will Hodgson, it almost like it sounded like the bike had stopped then. He's lost a bit of ground on Danny Booth up ahead of him there. This is the man in third place you're on board with, Will Hodgson. Danny Booth then looking to try and get himself away and maybe close that gap down on Will Kane. But now Will Hodgson's going to have to be careful because Sam Cox is closing on him. And that, that was a great move there from Sam Cox. Hello, he says as he just barges his way through up the inside into Paddock Hill Bend. Will Hodgson will try and snap back immediately though. Oh, there you just see uh, closing the door. Sam Cox there, just in case you're wondering why he's got uh, a Dutch flag knee slider on one side and a British flag on the other is because his uh, father is British, his mother is Dutch, just in case you wanted to know that uh, piece of information. Number seven there, Will Keynes, it is that leads. That's Jack Scott, one of the super team bikes, just being lapped, so forget about that for now. There's Danny Boo, then Keelan Irwin is bouncing back again. Oh no, that's Reese Irwin, sorry. Reese Irwin is about to be joined by his brother. They're all coming through lapping the super teams at the moment, so it's a bit confusing, but there's no denying who's winning. Uh, up into first place here and flying away from the pack, Will Keynes has not been challenged at all in this race as yet and looks like he's going about his business very smoothly indeed. Could be quite close in the championship though. Yesterday, different results uh, as ever, Saturday and Sunday races for Thunder Sport GB. This is Will Hodgson now and he's struggling. It doesn't look like he's gonna make the top three here. In front of him, we've got one back marker and then that's Jack Scott who's just gonna get uh, by on there. These are the battles uh, for second and third then. Danny Booth in second, Sam Cox in third. Sam Cox will definitely have a go. Uh, if he's got even half a chance here, Sam Cox will try and get himself into second place. Sam, a race winner yesterday here at Brands Hatch. Although we were faced with slightly different conditions. Uh, he won the race from Ross Simpson, the first race yesterday, the first race of the season in the wet here at Brands. So uh, the tables, uh, championship table at the end of today should prove rather interesting. Will Hodgson we're on board with here uh, on the Ron Hodgson car, especially this machine just getting squeezed out there of fourth place by Keelan Irwin. Number 69, who's recovered well after that moment earlier on, around about here, around Graham Hill, then we go. Still race leader there, Will Keynes, number seven. In second place should be number 64, Danny Booth. It is then 54, Sam Cox. This one will go down to the wire, although if these two start uh, getting a bit dirty on circuit here and start taking lumps over each other, then that might just open the door to Keelan Irvin and Will Hodgson a bit further back, but uh, 
not sure how that one's going to work out. Will Keynes it is that looks like he's good for a Sunday double here uh, on Mother's Day at Brands Hatch. We are on the last lap. He's got a bit of traffic just to deal with here. Cool. I'll tell you what, it's a good job the parents can't see all of this footage because there would be more than a few grey hairs down on pit wall or that's if uh, there is any hair to go grey for one or two as they now make their way down into Graham Hill Baird. Sam Cox had moved into second place, but Danny Boob snatches it back again. It'll go to the line, this one. This is the battle for second place. Will Keynes has got the win in his pocket, though. It's going to be the double on TV day here for Will. A fantastic start to the season for him, and he will head to Donington Park with loads of confidence. But who's going to get second between Danny Booth and Sam Cox? It looks like it's going to be Danny Booth. Keynes it is that wins the race outright. And in the background here, we're waiting for it. It's going to be Danny Booth. Number 64 who takes second, third for Sam Cox, and then Keelan Irwin just goes across the line there ahead of Will Hodgson in the race for fourth overall. So good battles for second, good battles for fourth, but Will Keynes home and dry, six, over six seconds is Lee. Ross Simpson in the end finishing in sixth place. There's your top three then, Will Keynes, Danny Boo, and Sam Cox. And here is the championship standings, a point between Will Keynes and Sam Cox going into the next round. Keelan Irwin in third, then Danny Booths, Ross Simpson and Matty Rangeley. Sam, well, lovely to see you continually up here on the uh, podium this weekend. It's just great to see you back doing what you do. Thank you. Um, it's been a fantastic weekend, um, considering where we were last year and just how we progressed. And I'd really like to thank um, Ian Newton for getting us back in the championship and all my parents and that for support. Uh, this weekend couldn't have started better for the, for the season and I'm so proud of myself and the support I've had all weekend is brilliant from all, all my friends and family and I've just really enjoyed it and happy to be back on the bike and just like to say well done to all the lads who are out there comp who are competing against because they're all doing a good job and I'm really proud and I can't wait till the next round at Donington. Mr Booth, now you've done very well again haven't you? Um, unfortunately, we didn't get you on the podium on the first one because of a mix-up with your transponder, but that's still two seconds today, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah, I'm really happy with that after how yesterday went in the wet and stuff. Um, yeah, some good battles with Will and Sam. So. Well, it's a good start to the season and, you know, valuable points, isn't it? Because they make a big difference at the end of the season. So, I mean, you've got a bit to do to, you know, to catch Will at the moment because he's on fire. But uh, who do you want to thank, mate? Um, I'd like to say a happy Mother's Day to my mum. Um, uh, can I thank uh, Design Iteration, Longton Batteries, um, KJD Racing, my team, for being a good team. Um, Wiz Siders, Shorrocks Motorcycles, my dad, uh, Libby. Um, yeah, everyone who's helped me, cheers. Well, well, what can I say? After last year, to come back and do what you've done, you know, already at the first round, that is a fantastic start. Yeah, let's hope I can keep it on for the rest of the season now. So, yeah, it was, it was a great race to just sort of watch my pitboard all the way through, just counting down the laps, and yeah, and it ended up really well. Yeah, good. And some people to thank, obviously. Yeah, uh, also I'd like to thank Luke for doing my helmets, uh, Fire System Services, massive thanks to my dad, family and friends for coming down and supporting, Ian Newton, uh, Ian Wilford for helping out with spares and all that stuff. Um, Dunlop and yeah, fun of sport. Thank you. That's it from round one in 2016. It's goodbye from Brands Hatch and hello very soon to round two at Donington Park. We'll see you there.